Hello and welcome to a 3S Company video on the Lord of the Rings the card game. I'm Joseph and I'm here playing, uh, continuing my playthrough of the Lost Realm and Angmar Awakened Cycle. And I'm up to um, across the Etten Moors, the Troll Quest. I got a lot of side quests in here. It's known for being a little easier in this cycle. Um, I think it's fun. The Nightmare deck is fun, too. And I'm going to use this Killer Solo Leadership V5 deck. A couple years ago, I published uh, this uh, leadership deck using Aragorn, Urkenbrand, and Gildor. Using Gildor to fill in leadership's weakness of card draw, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, somebody about a year ago tweaked it a little bit with some newer cards, Angbor the Fearless, and the leadership Mary and Treebeard. And I thought I would give this deck a play. I have not played it yet. It's basically the same deck, taking out some of the one ofs and weird stuff. Probably more consistent, so I'm going to uh, try Deceased Horse <laughs> version of this deck. Um, basic thrust of the deck is to play Gandalf quite a bit. Draw cards with Gildor, build up Urkenbrand as a good defender. Uh, get a lot of resources. Got the Tome of a Tanatar to play sneak attack more times. Got a little bit of healing. Ancestral armor and Hauberk and the Destrier make Urkenbrand pretty good. You get your sword that's broken out to boost willpower. And if you get those, that can cover most of the parts of the game. Um, so that can be an issue if you don't get your Gandalf cycle going and damage is rough, but which damage could be a problem in this particular quest. So I've loaded up the deck here, uh, across Edmores, I believe is a, another three stage quest. First stage, you got to deal with some side quests. It keeps spitting them out at you. Second stage, also a big part of this quest is these, uh, guarded safe locations you can travel these safe locations and you get to hide from all the enemies and ignore all treachery which is a big deal and each one has another beneficial effect on them too so we hope to see these come up one starts in the staging area right away the second stage of the quests rewards you for being at safe locations and punishes you for not being at safe locations and the last stage is kind of a last gasp if people are damaged they don't get any willpower so that could be rough for this deck or they get less willpower and just got to quest out and survive i think it's a fun quest let's see if this deck can navigate it into that moors across the Edmores. set aside the three across the more side quests in each of the four safe locations reveal one of those side quests at random and one of those safe locations at random Add in the stationery. I got the side quests and safe locations here. I'll do the side quest first using a random number between one and three. That gave us uh, two. Forage for food. That's not a great one. I wish I was like getting Lilo. And then a random number between one and four for the safe location. Four. That's a patch of woods. It's resources if you go there. Okay, uh, search the encounter deck for one copy of Savage Troll Spot for player and add another staging area. Shuffle the remaining cards back into the deck. First player gains control of a Marathiel. Oops, there we go. And shuffle the encounter deck. Before we did that, we should have drawn our six cards. Looking for Stuart of Gondor is good. Gandalf sneak attack combos are good, and some low cost allies are good. Okay. That is good enough. I got some low cost allies. I got some defense buff. I got steward. I got some healing and half of the Gandalf combo. Uh, this isn't going to be that good. Okay. 
You can escape from the prisons of Mount Graham, but you are not safe yet. At the beginning of the quest phase, if there are no encounter side quests in play, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side quest is discarded, reveal it, and add it to the stationery. The revealing is nasty because some of them. I think at least one of them searches. When a side quest is defeated, place progress tokens on to into the more equal to that side quest quest points. So you only can clear a couple, and then you go on to stage two, like it or not, forced. All right, here we go. Cards cost one more. Uh, I am at thirty-one threat. He's at thirty-six. He'll be coming down soon. I'm gonna draw a card that does not cost extra. I'll, first, actually, I'll play this for three, and then give myself two, and then draw a card. And then give it up. All right, we're gonna quest. Well, rough only six to one. Each player deals a damage to a hero controls attached coal from Angmar to the current quest. Counts a condition attachment with the text. Treat each damage character's printed text box as if it were blank, except for keywords and traits. All right, so we're going to make Aragorn blank for now. But we do have six versus one is five progress. Not a bad start, but we still we won't engage that guy. Although we could fight. All right, give us some more resources. Oops, pushed a cube. Give myself one and draw a card. I don't think I need to really try that hard. I guess there's one location that could be four. I'm gonna play a sword that was broken for four. That will give all my characters plus one more power. Quest, quest, seven to one should be good enough. Remove each damage character from the quest Doom 2. That's okay. That's four to one. We have three progress one. Plenty. Heal dam one uh one damage from each hero. Okay. So we get rid of our cold from Angmar. And we heal the damage off of Aragorn. And we put six progress over here and put that to display and we get the patch wolves. Get a resource when we go there. That combos well with it. Everything costs more and now I get some free resources when I go there. I don't think I'm ready to kill this guy yet. I'm getting close. We'll have to engage him soon. But I'm not going to yet. All right, let's give ourselves some more one resource and one card. Let's play that. And we've got a lot. Let's play that. Put a resource there. And we're going to get another side quest. Let's just play it safe on the defense. Oops. At the beginning of the quest phase, if there are no encounter side quests in play, discard till you get one. Okay, lie low. I like this one. At the end of the quest phase, if no progress is placed on lie low, each enemy gets minus 20 engagement cost to the end of the round. After the stage defeated, choose the enemy in the stage in there and shuffle it into the encounter deck. So we could play it cool. Yeah, I like this one. We can just quest lightly for a bit. I'm gonna quest for six. 
Goblin Pursuer. He's going to come down at 16. Damaged characters cannot be declared as attackers or defenders against Goblin Pursuer. All right, we got three threat. We make three progress. So that forced effect will not give everyone minus 20. We're going to bring him down. Combat phase. Urken Brand defends for four. Shuffle one location to the safe keyboard back into the counter deck. I'm going to damage myself to cancel that. I already declared him as a defender, so he doesn't isn't removed, and then I can attack back for six, which kills him. And now I'm at 36. Give myself one resource and one card. Two Gandals, but no sneak attacks yet. Put this here. Heal him. And that's it. Quest and that's it. Attached to exhausted hero or to a ready hero if there are no exhausted heroes. No rest. Condition attachment. Limit one per hero attached hero cannot ready and does not collect resources during the resource phase. Discard no rest if players travel to the safe location. So it doesn't remove him from the quest, but he can't ready and does not collect resources. So four to one is three progress. I'm not going to travel there yet. I'm just going to leave him. <laughs> gonna engage him. The savage troll spawn gets, looks like he's related to Darth Maul. Savage. Uh, he does not get any butt boosts because I have no damage characters. I will defend for four, plus one for each damage character. Ready, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is exactly enough to kill. New turn. I'll keep him exhausted. And I'll give myself one resource because he to counteract that. Oh, I got a sneak attack finally. Great, now I can start sneaking Gandalf a lot. I'm going to put that out. I want to draw a card, so let's do that. Kill every stone. Let's play her. And put a resource on a noble hero and then just because we can let's play Knight of the White Tower with all four of these resources all right pretty good shape the quest really hasn't gone crazy at all but our quester is down let's just quest with these chumps four to zero Reveal one encounter card per each quest card in the game. That is bad. Alright, that is a four threat. And this is guarded by Baron Wastelands. Oops. And we were requested on this, so this is four threat. So we requested four to six. Our threat goes up by two. And each enemy gets minus 20 to the end of the phase. That is nothing. This one on Baron Moore land. For the staging area, it gains. When an ally enters play, you must exhaust or deal one damage to travel. Deal one damage to each exhausted character. Okay, we could just bump off these two, but let's not do that. Putter a little bit more. Move around. I'm exhausted. Exhaust that to only draw a card because we're collecting one less and I'll spend it. All right, let's play that. Two. Eric Warner's quest tank of five now. And 
I could just quest on this and leave this here. I need to travel here, which means I need to quest, but only people who can get damage. So I'm going to sneak attack Gandalf in. I'm going to use Aragorn and ready him by spending a resource. So quest, ready. He gets damage for coming into play. But he can quest as well. So that's a nine. And I don't really want to go with him. Let's just try not. Assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. Awesome. I have two characters, so Gandalf can take them both. And that's nine to two is seven progress, three here and four here. And that puts eight here. There's no enemy in the stationary shuffle away. I go on to the next quest stage. The Miserable Journey. Your trek through the Edmund Moors only gets worse as your injured company is pursued by hungry trolls and battered by cold and rain. When revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discard cards until you get a side quest. Reveal the side quest and add it to the stationary of Abel. There is one of the key side quests we have not revealed yet. There it is. All right, we lose our hand. And the interesting part about that is I still have Gandalf in play, and he's going to come back to my hand. And I have Tome of Atanatar and Sneak Attack available. Nope. B. This land, this land is barren and untamed. Food is scarce, and you must take care to avoid the trolls and other creatures that roam the moors. If you're lucky, you may find a safe place to hide and rest for a short time before your journey continues. Reveal one additional counter card per player in the quest phase, unless there is an active location with the safe keyword. All right. Um, I kind of want to go here. Uh, into the quest phase. Gandalf comes back to hand. I'm going to travel here to free up this. It's a good time because I only have him. Uh, exhausted. I'll have to be questing on that. Um, no combat phase, so the next turn. Oh, when I stuck attack Gandalf, I meant to three, four, five. My intention was to reduce threat. I didn't do anything else with him. All right. Keep him exhausted. I'll draw one card and with the one resource that he's basically getting me. And now I will use Tome of a Tanatar. Detach. Detach for leadership hero. Reduce the cost to play Tome of a Tanatar for one for each hero with the printed leadership resource icon. Discard Tome of Tanatar to play any leadership event card in your discard pile as if it were in your hand, then place that event at the bottom of your deck. So I will pay one to play it. Sneak attack Gandalf in in the quest phase here. Put this one on a move to owner's deck bottom. Uh, I don't really need to draw cards once I clear this, so I'm going to reduce my threat again. One, two, three, four, five. And quest with him for five. Uh, I forgot to put my resources correctly. I'll say I paid for to sneak attack with Erkenbrand's leadership resource, and then I'll use Aragorn's to ready himself. And send the ladies on the quest. And the Knight of the White Towers so have 15 to zero. No rest attached to an exhausted hero or a ready hero if they're not exhausted heroes. This is a bit of a contradiction here because there is an exhausted hero, but it's limit one. 
So technically I couldn't do it to anybody, but I will put it on Aragorn. So he get ready. And he does not collect resources. So that's 15. That's going to knock this one out. Oh, we get two cards because of the miserable journey. All right, an enemy, a cold fell giant. After he engages, you deal three, oh, one damage to three different characters you control. We still get 12 progress. And that clears this. For some reason, it puts all those attached cards in my discard. I'll have to pull them back out. And now, let's go to the Patch of Woods. Add one resource to each hero you control. And we get to discard both of these. No rests. All right, now, well, we're at a safe location. Um, things happen. Return all engage enemy of the staging area. Ignore the wind revealed effects of all treacheries. Treat the printed text box of all encounter side quests as if they were blank. It's fun if you reveal, like, uh, Lost in Wilderness. Well, you're in a safe location, it does nothing. Because it only has that wind revealed effect. Enemies do not make engagement checks. At the end of the quest phase, if a safe location is active, add it to the victor display. So you cannot linger. Uh, do I want to deal with this guy is a question. Gandalf comes back to hand. He takes 11 to kill. I don't think I have any where it is. So, new turn. Ah, strength of arms. Let's draw a card. Give myself some resources. Play her for two. Give one to Aragorn. Let's just destroy this, shall we? Let's do that for two. And then all of my unique allies get plus two. Let's put this guy out first. <laughs> and Mary uh, her out first. And then Mary out last, so they'll benefit. All right, so treacheries are blank. We have three threat in the staging area. Quest, quest, and ready. Quest, quest. You can quest uh, aggressively. Know that those treacheries that usually damage you aren't going to do anything. All right, I have to quest with him. And then temporarily he and he and she all have plus one. So we're up by 23. We can. We are short of. Hoping I could place tank the arms too, but I can't. All right, by twenty three. We are going to totally clear it in one turn. But let's uh, throw him into. Up by twenty five. Troll fells. Well, it's active location. Weather cards gain to one. When revealed, if it's not revealed, guarding a safe location, search the encounter and discard for a location with a safe and add it to the troll fells as a guarded card. Shuffle the encounter deck. This is cool. Make sure you see some of these good locations. All right. Requested for 29. We have four in the staging area. We make 25 progress, five here. 20 here. Ha ha ha, we did it. So this goes to the Victor display. This goes away. 
you're getting closer to the, that was a very quick miserable journey you're getting closer to the edge of the troll fells but exhaustion has taken its toll one way or another this journey is nearing its end shuffle the encounter discarded the encounter uh, deck discard until we get a side quest reveal the side quest and add to the staging area if able um Is there another side quest? There is. Make there's two more. Okay. All right. Let's find one. Oh, first one. Okay. The cost to play each player card is increased by one. Didn't we do this one? No, we did not. That was the practice game. Ah, uh, you risk drawing the attention of tr nearby trolls by venturing into their lair. Perhaps inside you can find supplies to help you get back to Rivendell. The cost to play each player card is increased by one. Well, the stage is defeated, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a troll enemy and put it into play. Engage with you with the player with the highest threat. Each player might play a card from his hand at no cost. All right, let's just play. Oh, then we flip this. That's fun. Your wounded companions only slow your progress. With trolls in your heels and foul weather overhead, you press onward. Each damage character gets minus two willpower and less. There is an active location with a safe keeper. If the players defeat the stage, they have escaped yet and wars with their lives and win the game. It's fun to have a description of the win rather than just win. Let's go to the secluded cave just to make it easier. <laughs> Draw three cards. You got Galadriel and Knight of the White Tower. Do we want to bother with this guy? Not yet. And now this scavenge for supplies is blank because we're in a safe location. I'm going to draw a card. Give myself two resources. I'm going to put this on Gildor to heal him. I have five resources to mess with. Let's play Galadriel. I've already got the sword that's broken, so she's not going to be really good but look at the top five and she would have given us a free sword that was broken okay and then I can rearrange them and let's just see if we can quest out. I need to reduce the willpower in some of these guys because Mary's effect has worn off. That sword that was broken has not. I haven't seen another sneak attack. All right, let's see what we got. I have two resources so I can ready all my allies if I need. Quest, quest. Let's leave him up. Currently making 23 progress. That will not be enough, but it will be good effort. That is blank because we're in a safe location. So we get 25 progress. 7 here and 18 here. Killer. So that was a pretty quick, that was quick, round 9. So not a short game, but the first couple turns were pretty low-key. We only revealed one enemy the entire game. Killed the troll spawn, but he wasn't difficult. Uh, got to be at two safe locations, key moments, that helped. Safe locations give us some extra resources and cards, but look at my hand for a leadership deck. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Gildor's constant draw of one is amazing combined with Stuart of Gondor. If you think of Stuart of Gondor as gain one resource and gain one card, that's kind of all you need for acceleration. Love it. And the willpower from the sword that's broken is amazing. Questing through these two last stages with one go each is pretty cool. 
Uh, anyway, that is one way to play across the Eden Moors. As you can see, sometimes not a whole lot happens in solo play. I will play the Nightmare version and see if it has... Uh, it will be different, that's for sure. Got some nasty stuff in it. But it also might have a design flaw in it, too, but we'll talk about that when we get there. This version of the deck seemed to work pretty good. Um, seemed to do what I want it to without being slowed down by some of the extra cards like Heir of Mardil, Sword of Numenor, Days Rising. Those are all fun cards, but I probably should be disciplined to take them out. So props to Deceased Horse for refining the deck a bit. Well done. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back soon playing the Nightmare version. I think I'll play the same player deck and see if I can take it out of the Nightmare quest. Thanks for watching.